good afternoon, hockey fans. We welcome you to the Windsor Stadium here in Grand Falls, Windsor. We're getting set for game number two of this best of three play-in series between the Central Impact and the Western Kings. George Scott, Robert Golding, along with cameraman Steve Noseworthy to bring you this game this afternoon. Cataracts won last night. Uh, Cataracts, getting ahead of myself. We're doing that game tonight. Yes. Uh, the Impact won last, uh, last night, four to one. Big uh, night for Reed Fowler, who picked up the most uh, respectful and effective play award before the game. He ended up with a hat trick and an assist four-point night. Stepped up uh, in the scoring and did the job for the impact last night. All right, teams are coming to center ice. Impact in the home whites. And the Western Kings in the red. With the black trim right off the face off the puck is put in behind the western goal Payne picks it up there he can get it out price going back to get it will he catch up to it before it crosses the line no it will not or he will not we got an icing call early against western kings right off the get-go george uh, the impact had a great scoring chance had turned the puck over in the neutral zone got it down low made a, a good shot on that goaltender at first save of the evening afternoon Early afternoon, we've got another game yeah. to do this evening. Robert still in goal for Western. He played last night, thought he had himself a pretty good game. Yeah. Goals kind of came in quick succession for the impact. He scored two late in the first and then another one late in the second, just 4.3 seconds to go in the second. Other than that, it was a pretty even game. Western able to clear it out the center, shot back in. Two power play one. goals in the first period was one of the things that sealed the fate for Western Kings early, and they just can't afford to do that today. Again, another icing call against Western. George, one of the things I was uh, noticing last night, and I, I thought that, you know, the game of puck possession and puck pursuit, you know, obviously the impact had the puck more often. Uh, their, but their puck pursuit was pretty good down low, and that's one of the keys when you're in the offensive or defensive zone. That's the thing that you always want to try to at least have the advantage of. Peavy gets waved out of the faceoff circle. I mean, the take it was Austin. Green able to hold it in, but the Kings will bring it out. A burst of speed by Peavy up the left side. Peavy gets a shot away. Didn't get through to the goaltender. Gumby keeps it in along the right point, puts it around behind the goal. Green leaves it there for Hughes. Peavy cuts that off along the boards, but the impact have it. Gets past Purdy. But Western Kings did a great job. There's a turnover and a shot by Lambert goes wide. They say they kept the, or did a good job keeping Grayson Purdy in check last night. Yeah, he really didn't have any scoring chances at all. No, didn't have a lot of voice to, to, to move a lot, but done, a, done well defensively. But yes, you're exactly right. And obviously, he's a key to the offense for impact, and Kings recognize that. Blocker save from Harnett. As you mentioned, uh, Purdy kept off the scoreboard, but Fowler stepped in. Yeah. The hat trick and an assist. His first hat trick in the under 18 league. Locke, Lambert, and Russell had two assists each for the impact in last night's game. This looks like it's going to be a third icing call, just two minutes and seven seconds into this first period. Yeah. Watched referee Mills there then, Daniel Mills, Combi and Hepburn were looking at changing as she got over and said, let's go guys, back on. No change icing. This has got tough jobs. They got to keep an eye on everything. We're just lucky up here. Well, we are lucky. We, we always get the best seat in the house. We do. At least I have a seat. You're standing. Well, <laughs> just, to be, just to be, uh, just precise. to be, just to be fair. Yeah. yeah. I get, the, I get the seat tonight though. I think. Yeah, we each get a seat down at the Joe. <laughs> Lambert off the boards. He's looking for Ingram. That's didn't it. get it to center. Oh, so he, icing the other way. He wanted Ingram to break hard to the boards. And Ingram waited, but it was the right play. But he just waited long enough that when the puck was let loose, it was on the red. This side of the red line, of course, resulted in ice. That's four icing calls now in just under over two minutes. Three to Western Kings and one to the Central Impact.
Faceoff won by the Kings. Goes in behind the goal. Rashley back there. It's pinned against the boards. Canning. Flipped out towards the blue line. Just gets out. A couple of Western Kings players collided over there, but they come up with the puck, dump it in. Lynch, who played in last night's game. No change in goaltenders. During the regular season, this weekend series, teams have to alternate the goaltenders. Another icing call. Off. But last year they and they used to have to do it in the playoffs as well, which was kind of tough. This, uh, last year they changed it and said teams can roll with whatever goaltender they like once you get to the playoffs. Yeah, and it it, it doesn't make sense to have it flip flop like that on a weekend. It's you know I understand that everybody gets and wants to play. However, at the end of the playoffs, it's a different animal at that time. Hanrahan hustling back into his own end. He'll get to it before it crosses the goal line this time. Kings were changing. In fact, get it up through center. Hanrahan will bring it in over the blue line. Green is the trailer. Green takes the drop pass and it's poked away. War. Stopping. It's a really good play by Brady War. They're simple but very effective. And it seems bearing down on him. And just put on the brakes, turn and went the other way. reversed two sins clear it down the ice Hughes back to get it no icing ruled in on the forecheck knocked the puck loose up against the boards That's Joey Green He'll move it up towards the blue line canning actually that's Fowler the lock back to Fowler Fowler with a shot pad save Hughes with a shot that's tip went just wide Fowler looking to add to his total from last night. Great opportunity a moment ago. He's had two shots in the slot now, George, close range. And Hughes to Fowler. Lock. Lock will shoot it in. Cumbie quickly up ahead to Austin. Knocked off his stick. Cumbie's got to go back behind his goal. Kings do a good job to get it out. Pass in behind Austin. He had to wait for it. Takes it off the boards and mishandled it. Cumbie was there to help out. And move it up to center. Wiseman off the boards. Spingle was looking for it. Arthur Spingle had the only goal for the Kings in last night's game early in the third period. And Spingle with the puck. Behind the goal for Peavy. Barely off the boards, but kept in. Now it's chipped out. Cumbie over to Wiseman. Return pass up ahead into the skates of Peavy. That'll allow the impact to clear it out. Peavy, good pass up ahead. Found Spingle. Shot went wide into the corner. Peavy's on it first behind the goal. Noah Harnett. Harnett will take it out himself. He's looking for a party. Went off party skates. Not enough for icing. He was close. Bugged and hustled back there for the Kings. Lambert. Yeah, the impact would like to get this line going. Yeah, they certainly would. They need uh, a little bit more offense from each of those guys. One of the things I've noticed early, George, is that the impact are coming around the boards and they're getting the puck to their winger who's stationary on the boards because they have a couple of their wingers play their off wings. However, there is no centerman coming through the middle to help with them to, in other words, get the puck out. They're just chipping it out, chipping it out, chipping it out. You don't mind that if you're late in the game and you're up by three or four goals, but you'd like to be able to come out in, in a organized breakout if you could. Hughes puts it behind the goal. There's Fowler. Green backhands it back in deep. Bugden on it. Bugden lost it in his skates. He'll scrum behind the goal. Squirts loose to the boards. On it is Payne. He got it ahead to James. James turned and shot it in. Good hustle by Mercer to get there first, but Canning came back to break that up. A little two on one here for the impact. Canning 
Over for Ingram, puck sits in the crease. Roberts has got it and keeps it out. Looked like Fowler wanted to pass the puck the whole time, George. Looked like he wanted to pass it early. He waited, he waited, he waited. And then I think what happened is that the player that he wanted to pass to was almost gone past the crease and it went into the crease. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it ever got to Ingram on the left side. No, I side. don't think so. That was the intention, but uh, you know, once you, Ingram was going, got a good, good burst of steam, and of course, very difficult to put the brakes on stop without going into the goaltender. Canning facing off against Rashley. Brought out by the Kings. James was knocked down. Payne follows up on it, takes it down into the corner. Payne back at the point for Wiseman. And the Payne trying to come off the boards. He was stopped. Sitting towards the side of the goal now. It's going to be a penalty again. behind the play here. It's either going to be a hook or a slash, I'm thinking. Right here. Head contact there, okay, Colin Robert. Robert. Flip the coin. That's, we usually get half of those of those a game. And it's going to go against the Western Kings. Tough yeah. place to take a penalty then. And, and basically what, be behind the other team's goal. Yeah, and what happened, George, you, you want to try to get a bit of possession and, you know, create some space. And by doing so, made some head contact. There's not a whole lot to it, but it doesn't need to be anymore for that call, George. All right, first power play of the game goes to the impact. Face off one by the Kings, cleared down the ice. It'll help kill some time. And it's dumped over to the other side. Nobody over there for the impact. Oh, that's one of the things that is tough when you have a forward coming back on D and they do that. Not used to doing it. Harnett winding up. He'll gain the zone. Noah Harnett drops it back for Green. Fowler one time off the heel of a stick went well wide. Party's got it back to Green. Green centering it back to Party. To Green. Can't shoot it. Fowler. Green one timer. With left pad save made by Roberts. Kicks Good. it into the corner. I like that save. Green. Fowler. Again, fan. Uh, even worse this time. Set up twice in that left circle and didn't get a good shot away either time. Now a good spot to be. Joey Green gave him two really nice passes. Under a minute to go in the power play. Fowler gains his own, drops it back. Party over to Green. Green down low along the goal line. They'll take it in behind the goal. This is Harnett. He has no puck support there. He's coming back the other way, so it's very easy to defend when the forward's bringing that puck out like that. 30 seconds to go in the power play. Impact are changing. War. War with a nice little move. Gets himself free. Little delay creates some space. Yeah, just a little shoulder shimmy. But puck taken by the Kings. Sent down the ice. Ingram back to pick it up. Time winding down, just five seconds to go in the power play over to an open wing. Great job of killing this penalty by the Western Kings. And Didn't sit it. back at all, a lot of pressure. So we remain scoreless, We're halfway through the first period. Price. Played it out to center, turning, shooting it back in was Peavy. Race for it there. Spingle trying to get to it first. Kings in quickly on the forecheck. Impact can't get it out. War forced back behind his goal. Off the glass and out. Gets past Cumby, saying it was tipped. Impact get in there first anyway, but great burst of speed there to negate that icing regardless. And here's Mercer coming up. Mercer with a good rush. Turns right on goal. Rebound is there. They score. That's just a uh, an unfortunate bounce, the goaltender made the first save, came right back on Price's stick, goes to the Western King player on the left side, an empty netter basically, one nothing. Turnover down the other end, watch, we have two aside here, nice little move, just an easy shot at the net, goaltender makes the save, goes right, Price's skates, goes right, got turned around to the Western King's player on the left side, not a thing the goaltender could do. 
The Western Kings strike first. Lead this game one to nothing. Hanrahan down the left side. Gets bodied off the puck. Wiseman up through the middle to James. James in over the blue line. Shot went off of Verdi. So Nick Gold, Nick Gould with the goal for the Kings. Zach King couldn't find the puck in his skates or the impact. Intercepted that pass, gets it to Hanrahan. Hanrahan winds up rolling puck, couldn't get much on it. Fudge leaves it. Green, Green, Green's in position, a shot, glove save by Roberts. Really nice save, and you've got King on the right side there, George. He's watching Joey Green. He needs to get to the front of that net, in front of the goaltender. Goaltender came out, challenged shooter Green, who's got a good shot, but was able to make the glove save because there was no traffic in front of him. Another face-off win for the impact. Price, a little trouble finding it. Puck comes loose. It's going to be a two-on-one. He can get it over there. Austin tried to get it over. It was broken up. Back at the point, it's kept in. That shot right on goal. Save made by Lynch. Rebound was there. Lynch with another save. Western Price. Kings are doing a great job of forechecking early in this game, George. Long shot in, wide of the goal. Lynch missed it, he meant to catch that. He looked at his glove, as if to say there was a hole in it. Harnett avoided the check, the puck sits there, Purdy's got it, lifts it down into the corner. Lambert into four check, he'll beat Bugden to the puck. Lambert's got it behind the goal, tried to feed it out in front. Spingle has it to Mercer. Off the boards and out it comes. Peavy had it taken away. Puck sits in front of the goaltender. Impact come up with it and clear it. Impact got to do a better job of protecting that puck inside the blue, excuse me, inside the blue line. There's Peavy. That's picked off by Fowler. Fowler puts on the brakes, poke check. Austin will bring it back and he in turn has it taken away by Green. Green getting around the outside. Joey Green with some room. Green, back in, hit the crossbar. He Waved off. He needs to be getting back down. He can't be putting his arms up in the air. Green thought he had scored. That'll be offside. Referee right there waved it off immediately. He did. Brian Casey wants to talk to the referee. Yeah, there are no goal judges. The referee's call is going to stand. Yeah. He's just going to ask him, you know, did you have a good eye of it? He he immediately blew it down, or excuse me, waved it off. But it was a great turnover in the blue line, and Joey Green went in all by himself. He did have a man in the slot. Looked like he was going to dish it over to him. Saw it to go to the back, and the goaltender cheated to the passer, or the receiver, I'm sorry, and it hit off the crossbar, came straight down. Yeah, you see, I see the referee indicating to... Brian Casey, the puck hit the bottom part of the crossbar. Yeah. Came straight down, stayed out. So we remain one to nothing in favor of the Kings. Lock reaching for it, couldn't get to it. Puck squirts loose to this side. Urquhart. Russell got a stick on that. It's going to be an interference call there. That's an easy call and a dangerous play. It's going to be locked. It's going to be called boarding, power play yeah. for the Kings. You could pick either one of those, boarding, interference. Exactly seven minutes to go, first period. Kings lead it by one. Now they go on the power play. Impact win the faceoff. Clear it down the ice. Roberts leaves it for Wiseman. Wiseman will get it in over the blue line and takes a little bump from Verdi. Hughes has it off the glass up high and it'll get out. 
as they drop past Decker. Kings taking their time. They get it to Decker. He makes a move at the blue line, then fanned on the pass. Hughes read that, stepped up, kept it out. Now it comes in over the blue line, but it's up against the boards. Shot around by Rashley. Nobody there for the Kings, and another easy clear for the impact. Down to a minute to go in the power play. Coach Casey and Tremlett going with three sets of penalty killers in this situation. Lambert knocked it away from Mercer. Good poke check. Mercer recovers it. Still can't get it in over the blue line. Now they do, but not deep. Impact have it. And send it the length of the ice one more time with 35 seconds to go in the power play. Too many people in the neutral zone for Mercer to try to avoid three guys. You could beat one, second, maybe third, no. Now they bring it in. Here's a chance. Spingle. Shot was deflected wide. 20 seconds to go in the man advantage for the Kings. Now they get a chance to set up. Spingle. Payne's got it. Payne looking back at the point. Here it comes to Mercer. He shot off a stick over the top of the net, over the glass, and out of play. One of the things that you noticed in this particular penalty kill for the impact is that they really got to the dots quickly and forced the passes very quickly. And of course, that you get a little less time to set up, smaller race surface, a little less time, hard to execute a play. Nine seconds left in the penalty to Aiden Locke of the impact. Faceoff win for the Kings. Mercer again. Off a stick, up and out of play. Just a replay of the last sequence. Three very, seconds left. Very similar. Good face off. Thing is, Mercer really needs to hold on. The impact player did a good job of getting a stick in the shooting lane to make sure that went up and out of play. This time, the impact win the face off. That'll do it. Penalty is now over. Put wide, comes to the near boards. Mercer's on it, backhands it in behind the goal. Spingle's on it back there. Hughes hit him against the boards. Puck comes loose, Spingle's got it. Finally, the impact come away, Hearn it. One on two, trying to get around the outside of Applin. Just looking to get it out in front for Fowler. Went off a stick up and out of play. Face off will stay in the Western Kings end, down to 424 to go here in the first period. Good pace to this game, George. Last night I found it was a bit sloppy, particularly in the neutral zone today. A little bit more wide open, crisper passes, better puck support for both teams. Cannon gets waved out. Lambert in to take the face off. Won by the Kings, but it comes right in front. Chester Ingram scores! There you go, George. That's what a face off, and Lambert, who's not a centerman, the centerman gets waved out. He actually goes forward with this faceoff, uses his body. Second guy comes in. And the importance of winning faceoffs and poor faceoff coverage for the Western Kings. We have a tie game. Ingram left all alone in front. Yeah, and Ingram is there lurking in the weeds. The puck comes out, but what I really like is Lambert going in. Not a faceoff guy, but he pushes his body forward, negates the centerman. Then it's a loose puck, and Ingram just pounces on it, puts it away. Goal comes with 4.19 to go in the first period. Hughes back in his own end to pick up the loose puck. Puts on the brakes and reverses it. Lambert's got to hustle back to get it, and he'll get rid of it. Cumbie slaps it right back in for the Kings. Over for Mercer and behind him, he's got to back up and go and get it. Now he'll get things going the right way in the right direction for the Kings. Down the right side, down into the corner. Backhand hit the side of the net. Mercer still on it. Mercer's a really good skater. I like the way he goes down the right side, uses his body to protect the puck. His line is tired here now with Lambert Ingram. They need to get off. 
They start to make a change. Ingram's off, replaced by Russell. Lambert comes to the bench. Fowler's on. Shot from a sharp angle. Roberts has it and holds on. Well, we've got a minute. Want to thank some of the sponsors for the Traction Central Impact, including the title sponsor, Traction. In addition, uh, some of the other sponsors, Ernest Guy and Sons Limited, London's Trucking Excavating Limited, Brittany Inns Limited, CMB Holdings, A and B Construction. Thanks to those folks, and there are more. We'll mention them as the game goes on. Mercer again. Well, he's had a lot of ice time. He has long shot and easy catch there for Lynch. He had Austin coming down the right side, but elected to take a pretty weak shot from well out. Yeah, and that's Austin is looking over and they're trying to make contact. You know, he's saying, Am I going to stay wide or am I going to go to the net? And of course, with the shot coming from the left side wide, you basically stay wide. Right from the face off an opportunity, Austin. That time got to the puck. Yeah, that's just poor coverage <laughs> defensively, George. And right now, you're looking at Coach Casey. He did not like that at all. And he's going to be the first to tell these guys listen, this is a face off. We want to go, just score the goal because of that. You just watch the gun. You see him going over, tapping Fowler on the back, saying, that's your job right there. You've got to get in the way of the guy. You don't need to get the puck, but you have to get in his way. Yeah. Casey changes up the forward line. Well, instant like that. Wiseman's got it back at the right point for the Kings. Gets it down into the corner. Hughes over to the far corner. Green hustling over there. Green can't get it out. Right along the blue line. It does come out, chipped in, so Kings have to tag up. Spingo does. Good pass off the boards for Harnett. Noah Harnett gets the center, shoots it in. Good job by Roberts to knock it down behind the goal. Peavy's got it to Austin. They don't get it out. Fudge has got it. Fudge trying to work in. Couldn't beat the two defenders. Wiseman has it. Shrugs off a check, puts on the brakes. George is Wiseman, but off it, he is going to be a target. Well, Wiseman and Mercer, they take a take up a lot of ice time. Do they ever? But a very effective. Kings were changing. Canning able to bring it out. Actually, that's Fowler, 10, 17, a push to the boards. Kings wanted to call on that, none forthcoming. Green with a shot, it's redirected. It's loose in front. Impact player knocked down. There's Russell in front of the goal. Good defensive play. Let that guy stand around in front of your goaltender. Roberts has it, holds on. And, uh, well, Russell was there. He's doing what he should do. And, of course, big coming number two come in and said, okay, enough of this. You're going to have to get into this particular area. Scrum in the face-off circle. It was a scrum. There's a lot of bodies in a small area. Still up against the boards. Finally, the Kings get it, but it goes out of play up into the ceiling. Face-off will stay in the Kings' end. We're down to 1.05 to go. This 1-1 tie in the first period. Shot off a stick, up and out of play. Faceoff will be in the impact end. George, what I liked about that faceoff, they won the for impacts, but they won the faceoff, got it back, positioned it. But one of the things that I really liked, and I talked about puck pursuit, is that the Western Kings really pressured that, made the turnover, and came back down on a three on two. Ingram went back behind the goal. I think anybody was expecting that, Robert? There's been some some bounces too, George, on those panes of glass back there, and sometimes you don't really know which way the puck is coming. <laughs> nice turn there by Price. To Ingram. He looked up to see where he was gonna go with that pass and missed it. 
That'll go out of play. We're down to 22.3 seconds left to go first period. But, George, the responsibility right there, when you when you get a pass coming from your D-man to your left winger, Lincoln Cannon, who's the centerman, he has to get to both sides of the ice. If the puck is going to the right, he's got to get over the limb puck support. My puck support means you've got to get 8, 10 feet away from the right winger or the left winger who gets the puck so because they're, they're stopped on the boards so that they have somebody to give it to. If not, it gets dumped back in again. That's why your centerman's got to do so much of the work down low. Green. Now, a lot of people think the centerman, this guy scores all the points, but he's got no. great defensive responsibilities, much more so than the wingers. And, and, the, and the thing is, but he has to anticipate. So if you're looking at your D-man, you're coming back, and you see Price who goes behind the net being a left-handed shooter, he's coming in on the left side. Your only responsibility as a centerman is to get over to your left winger. Eight seconds left, right from the faceoff, it'll go back down into the impact end. Green around the boards, that's gonna do it. So, one period done, we are tied at one between the Western Driving School Kings and the Traction Central Impact. All right, let's take a break. We'll be back with period number two. In this game number two, Impact won last night four to one. Winner of this best of three moves on to play the Pinnacle Growlers in the league semifinals. Back in a few minutes, folks.
Get a 1-1 tie between the Western Driving School Kings and the Traction Central Impact after one period of play. Just underway now in the second period. Puck is dumped down into the impact end. Green throws it around the boards. Lincoln Canning has it. He'll give it back to Green. Rashley is in on the forecheck. Impact able to get it out. Lambert turns, plays it in. Party in looking for it. Puck goes high in the air. That will go out of play. We had a few pucks going to play here early, George. I don't know what the budget is, but uh, well, hopefully we don't run out. They're not cheap anymore, I can tell you that. Nothing is. No, true. <laughs> Gonna bring the face off outside the blue line. Wiseman, behind his goal, gets it, backhands it out towards the blue line. James just got it out and moved it ahead. Pass across a little bit too hard for Payne. Cumbie gets to it, shoots it in. Kings have to tag up. Payne gets out, now they'll head in. Green, waited for Rashley to make a move, then brought it out, moved the puck up the right side. Got it to Lambert, Lambert in there against Cumbie. Lambert's got the puck for the impact. Tried to throw it out in front, went off the skates of Cumbie. Wiseman lifts it down the ice and this is likely going to go and it will go for icing. One of the things you're gonna note, George, as the, as the game goes on particularly, I'm gonna try to take note of Mercer on D and Wiseman. They play a lot of time and of course the the day after the night before, plus a travel day for these folks yesterday. Be interesting to see what kind of legs they have in the third period. It's kept in. Janes couldn't get it out. Cumby down in the near corner. Wiseman to the boards. Janes again. They can't get it out. James will try it again. This time, no, that'll go out of play. Yeah. Some good board battles, and this is one of the things that you like to see. If you're, whether you're the, the defending or the, the team in the offensive zone, you want to have those board battles. It's so important how it either leads to a scoring chance or a good opportunity in the other end. Applin goes to the boards to get it. Pass Spingle, war with it. Russell down the left side. Fowler's in front. Trying to get it out to Fowler. Puck bouncing around. Impact get a shot. It was stopped by Roberts, and then he'll cover up. That was Locke came in and got through the loose puck. Russell did a good job coming down the left-hand side. Made a little delay on it. Bought himself a little bit of ice to get to the net. Puck was bouncing around there for a while. Roberts was down. Saw it all the time. Quick changes here now. We're going right back out with the Lambert Ingram line. Coach Casey sees something that he likes. War to the boards. Pokes it out towards the blue line and out it comes. Kings are on it. Shot back in by Spingle. War. Gets it ahead. Lambert. Ingram. Ingram with some speed. Trying to get around Applin. Applin stayed with him. Forced him behind the goal. PV comes up with the loose puck. Ahead to Spingle. Stumped in well wide. Austin will pick it up over in the far boards. PV in there with it. PV holding it. Cycles it back down low. Green is there for the impact. Mercer will hold it in. Finally, it's cleared out. Spingle going back to pick it up for the Kings. Turning against Lambert. Green to the boards. Wiseman gets there first. He pinches in from the right point. Hardy couldn't get it at Lambert. Finally backhands it off the boards, picked up 
by Hernet. Noah Hernet down into the corner. Green pinches in. Green's got it. Fed it across for Hernet. Just a little bit behind him. It was a good idea. Hughes back. Leaves it behind the goal. Barty quickly ahead. Out through center. Stopped there by Bugden. Hanrahan comes up with it. Hanrahan will shoot it in. Hughes backing up in his own end. Gets it to King. King will dump it in. Roberts out to play it. Gets it into the corner for Wiseman. Comes around for Bugden. Furlong into the middle. Finds Decker over the other side. That's an interference call there, an easy call. So a delayed penalty coming up against the Kings. Goaltenders gone to the bench. Kings touch it up, and the impact will go on the power play. Yeah, you, you can set a pick and get in somebody's way, but you can't physically hit them and take them completely out of the play as he's trying to go on give some support but George I had a uh, an interesting text from a viewer as I was warming up my coffee and he said did you uh, uh oh was the well, <laughs> he shall rename name re remain nameless right there you go <laughs> anyway he said Watts he said did did you see the the goal or the backhand off the crossbar and I said yeah I said off the crossbar and down he said did you see it on the replay I said no no I watched it with my eyes you don't trust me <laughs> Green, wrist shot, there was some traffic, but Roberts found it, catches it. And that's Lammer's job right now, George. We often talk about times that you get in front of the net. You don't get in front of the net, you get in front of the goaltender. If the goaltender's off to the left and you're over to the right, it's really of no significance. You wanna make it as difficult as you can for the goaltender to see the puck. Another face-off opportunity. We've seen that a few times in this game. Teams with scoring opportunities right from the face-off. All right, Impact hold it in to get it behind the goal. The pass missed everybody. Cumbie will get to it first. Green able to keep it in. Here's Parity. Leaves it along the boards for Lambert. Harnett's in front. Green with a shot. Hoping for a deflection. Didn't get a lot on it. Mercer to the boards. That didn't get out. Mercer will try this side. This one will get out. Green back at his own blue line. Minute five to go in the power play. Green pass in behind Harnett. That wasn't a good one. It comes back to Green. He'll dump it in now. Cumbie down in the corner. Around the boards looking for Mercer. Mercer's got it. Lifts it and gets it out. It's Lambert's job to get in on that puck there. He stood, stayed by the hash marks. He needs to get in a pressure here on a power play. Green trying to rush it up as the Kings were changing. Gets a shot on goal. And the faceoff will stay in the Kings end. We're down to 39 seconds to go in the power play. Both teams changing. Yeah, just not enough puck possession with any type of authority down low, George. Had the puck, but they never got anything directed towards the net. Really never made the Western Kings spread out their penalty kill which is exactly what you want to do you want to get them to expand the penalty kill not keep it in between the dots impact forced back into their own end furlong up there for checking for the kings moving ahead to ingram ingram in over the blue line ingram trying to split the defense russell there's 15 seconds to go in the power play war down into the corner looking for lock lock has it Lock goes down. Five seconds left. Ward knocked it down, but couldn't hold it in, and that's going to do it. So we go back to even strength. Good penalty kill for Western Kings that time. Lock. Took it to the boards. Lock. Got it to Russell. Russell against Wiseman. Tried to feed it out front for Ingram. Ingram. Gets a shot away. That's deflected wide of the goal. Russell digging for it. 
Wiseman. Over the other side to Applin. Impact, shoot it back in. Applin back to get it. Hard off the boards, that gets by everybody and this will be an icing call against the Western Kings. We're down to 12.36 to go here in the second period. We've got a 1-1 tie. One of the things we've got to know too, George, like you said, there's 12 and a half minutes left. Remember, this is the second period. You have the line change, so defenseman, you've got an extra 50 to 60 feet to get to your box, so you've got to make sure that you don't change when you're tired. You change before you're tired. Green, that shot hit some traffic in front, knocked down and cleared out. Green's got it back at center. Cutting inside, bringing it in over the blue line. Joey Green with a good rush, got a good shot away and a good save by Roberts. That was a nice rush, great save. He's got to get back. Oh, now. Rashley was there. They could have gotten the puck to him. He was behind everybody. Wiseman lost it. Hanrahan comes into the crease. That puck is still loose. Finally, it's covered. First and goal. So who have you got tomorrow, Robert? The big game. I'm going to go with Casey. It's hard not to, hard to bet against Mahomes. I'm, you know, San Fran has got a great defense. They're, you know, obviously a good team. It's, I, I guess there's a little home field advantage to being on the West Coast, but it is in Vegas. Is there any odds in Vegas with who plays when? I don't think there's any betting on the Super Bowl. No, I don't think so, no, <laughs> no. But uh, I, I, I like Mahomes. I, I really like KC down low, particularly inside the 20-yard line. They've uh, Obviously, they've been there before. Hard to bet against them, but I'm uh, I'm hoping for a good game, put it that way. Okay, we've got offsetting penalties, slashing against the impact, cross-checking against the Kings. We're going to go four on four. And to finish that, who do you have? Uh, I was picking Red Gatorade. Oh. That's my prop bet. <laughs> yeah, there's probably <laughs> going to be a few commercials. And uh, make well, sure that you have your chips and your dip. Well, they've got bets on everything, including the coach gets stumped with Gatorade. What color will the Gatorade be? You can actually that, bet on that. that. That's a real bet. That's important. Length of the national anthem? Right, so, yeah. We know Taylor Swift is not doing it, but I'm sure she's going to make it, is she? She's be flying in from uh, Tokyo, she yeah, is. Just Tokyo and Vegas, Japan. not that far apart, actually. I have to go over to North Pole. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if she's <laughs> flying Air Canada or not, but uh, so hopefully she got her luggage. You can get, uh, I think, 10 to 1 odds, is there, or, or better, that uh, Kelsey will propose. Uh, no, he's not going to propose. Okay. Well, you can no. take that bet then. No, well, okay, he's not going to propose. <laughs> So any of you folks who've got money on that, I would suggest that you change that bet right now. And, of course, <laughs> if you win, uh, please email, <laughs> email James. Oh, my goodness, this is terrible. Robert giving you gambling and, advice. And, oh, my. And I, and, uh, <laughs> and I don't gamble. Uh, but now my buddies will be playing a game of cards tomorrow as we watch the Super Bowl. Big Dave will be there. All right, we've got a hockey game still going we on. We do. One and a good one. And a very important game. Winner of this series moves on to play the Growlers. Loser, as I say, goes home. Yeah. Get ready for summer. That went off a stick, got past the two defensemen for the impact. Green hustling back into his own end to get it. Green off the boards to himself. Up in along the boards, Kings come up with it. Gould with a chance, scores! George and Gould have won the first goal. He doesn't get a lot of ice time, but I guarantee you, he's making the best of it. Turnover by the impact, and then Gould goes five hole. Big kick comes out of the bench, on the boards there. Turnover, he picks the puck up, and of course, five hole. That's his second goal of the game, George. Yeah, he's got both of the Kings goals. I really like that. So now the Kings lead it. Two to one as they try and send this to a game three tomorrow morning here at the Windsor Stadium. And players yeah, this get is, in there. This is, if, if, if you're down a goal right now, the impact who don't have, you know, we don't have rough stuff in the games anymore anyway. You need to get in there now on offense. You don't need to be getting in and pushing and shoving. 
Let's acknowledge some more of the sponsors for the Traction Central Impact. In addition to the ones we mentioned earlier, we've got Crosstown HVAC Services, Tim Hortons Gander, Power Financial, Notre Dame Agency, Melvin Parsons Limited, and more we'll get to. Fowler trying to bring it in, knocked off his stick. Price follows up on it, holds it in for the impact. They come again, Decker. He had Gould out in front. Yeah. Gould was alone on the left side. And he was excited. Fowler. And so he should be. Got himself a game going. Drop pass. That shot over the top of the goal. Nice Fowler play by Fowler there. I like that delay and the drop pass. He's open up a little bit here at the Windsor Stadium. Austin shoots it in around. Picked up over there by Lambswood. Hughes. Took him to the boards, puck comes three. Russell to Fowler, back to Russell. He'll shoot it in, that line's gonna head off. Yeah, they need the tarred legs here now. Impact get a change in. That pass misses everybody. But good hustle by Peavy to get in there first. Yeah, very good play by him to recognize that. The impact players looked, knew it was gonna be an icing. However, they stopped skating. Spingle making moves, that twisting a, and turning. That, was that a, went off the defenseman. Great move by Spingle. I love the way he brought that back in. How many centered it? Went off Brady Ward's stick and just went wide of the goal. Mercer gets knocked down. Peavy following up on it. Good pass over to Jaynes. Puck bounces here to the near boards. Mercer holds it in. Green's got it. Joey Green looking to go. Green in over the blue line. Green making a move. Puck went to the left side, went off a stick up and out of play. Good job buddy. Defenseman for the Western Kings Company to get his stick out there in the way of that shot. Deflected up and out of play. Another good rush by Joey Green. However, he's had a three rushes, George, but twice neither one of his forwards came back to support him. And as you talked about about four or five minutes ago, Rashley was wide open if the puck had to get to him. Lincoln Canning. Right on, goal, rebound was there as Roberts bobbled it. Price keeps it in. Price has it again. In behind the goal, Canning looking for it. Cumbies on him. Canning gets it to Parity and Parity has it taken away. Payne taken to the boards. Puck comes down to Lynch, he'll hold on. Shots on goal, 22-11, favoring the impact, but it is two to one where it counts for the Kings. Yeah, and the thing is, what I like about the Kings, George, they're really quick on their feet here today. Coach Mark Robinson recognizing something good coming out of this Gould line, and he's back out there again. He normally doesn't play a lot of ice time, but he is today, George, and why wouldn't he? Again, from the faceoff, a scoring opportunity. Impact forced to just shoot it down the ice. Icing against the impact. Now is when you as a coach, both offensively and defensively, but particularly on the defensive side of the, the puck, you really need to have a good sentiment out there. You need to have good face-off coverage. Lots of times you can win the face-off and lose the puck, and that's just not good enough. Right from the face-off comes to Wiseman. His shot stopped. Back to Gould. He looked up, lost the puck. Canning has it going the other way. High in the air behind the goal. Kings do a good job to move it out. Up ahead to Urquhart. He was poke checked. Party. Urquhart knocked it in. Rangy kid. Party going in there against Bugden. In the help out was Fowler. They get it in front. And it's tipped just wide by King. King has had two great opportunities here today for the impact, George. Really nice pass by Fudge. Off the stick of Urquhart. Fudge will come back with it for the impact. Fudge, shot, stopped by Roberts, cleared to the near boards. Things lifted out at center, knocked down by Urquhart, but Hughes took the puck. King, shot wide of the goal. Fudge, 
Right through the creases, tip over the top of the goal by King. What another glorious chance for Zach King. And another beautiful pass by David Fudge. Give it to him, man. King must be just shaking his head. Now the Kings with a chance on the turnaround. That's Gould again. Wow. Looking he's on, for the hat trick. On fire. Zach King is not going to have two <laughs> better chances than he just had in that shift, George. Two phenomenal passes from Fudge. One on the backhand, had him down low, and then right from the corner across, goaltender managed to get his pad out there, and it went up and over the net to come back down. And, of course, Gould, you're hedging your bet. I'd bet <laughs> on Gould. When things are going your way, the puck just seems to follow it you around. Follows you indeed. Impact come away with the puck out of that scrum in the corner. Lock will bring it out. Lock cutting in. His shot went off the defenseman. Skate Roberts as it holds on. Lock is going to get uh, some words from a couple of the D men there now as he chopped down on the goaltender's trapper. Six twenty to go, second period, two to one. Western Kings lead this one. Game two, best of three play-in series. Lock, trying to work off the boards. He's got it again. Taken away by the Kings, they'll move it out. Pass, got past Austin. Hughes goes back to get it. Hughes off the glass, out at center. Mercer slaps it back in. Hughes to war. Russell mishandle it, now he'll bring it in. Just avoids a hit from Mercer. Lock steps into his man. Cleared out. Hughes, got to be careful here. Spingle on him, that stumped in. Spingle's got to clear the zone. Bouncing buck. Oh. Long shot in, that hit the outside of the post. It was a poor clear down low, George. Right in front it comes. Rashley with a couple of chances. Now it's Cumby. Back down for Rashley. Hughes takes him to the board. Spingle's in there looking for it. Green off the boards, Cumby. Keeps it in for the Kings. Here's Rashley. Rashley knocked down in the corner. Huck squirts loose. Kings are on it. Goes in behind the goal. Now right out in front. Fowler there. Backhand. Wrap around. All sorts of things happening. Austin out there. had a great chance. It's kept in. Rashley. Wiseman. Wiseman with a shot. That's blocked by Green. Great job by Joey Green. Wiseman needs to take that puck to the corner. Great shift here for the Kings. Puck bouncing in front. Now the impact with a chance. The Wiseman's movement. going to get a penalty. George behind the play. It's either going to be a cross check or a boarding. Now, Wiseman just got clipped. I think the referee yeah, caught it. Yeah, did. that was a. Yeah, just uh, that's a that's a Ill poor move by Reed Fowler. Yeah, just he, an ill-advised penalty. They had an opportunity to go on the power play, and to do that, the original call is going against Wiseman. And as Fowler skated by after the whistle had gone for yeah. the penalty. He brought his stick up and tapped Wiseman in the, in the cage with yeah. his stick, with the blade of his stick. No need of it. Doesn't get it. Those are the type of penalties that are very, very costly. The impact had on a great opportunity. Not only were they going to go on the power play, they were going to go on the power play with Wiseman, their best D-man for the Western Kings being in the box, who was taking the cross-checking penalty down low. And something... Very out of character for Reed Fowler. Yeah, well, most genuinely player, most effective player for the year. Yep. Got the trophy last night, but... Uh, Four minutes of penalties for the entire year? He'd like to have that couple of seconds back to rethink what he did there. So, those two offsetting minors instead of a power play. And just before that, what a shift for the Western Kings. Maybe their best shift of the weekend. Oh, that was phenomenal. And they're in there again. Rashley. 
Rashley's got it, threw it right out in front. James. Hey, Kings have got the impact running around right now. They got some big guys down low here too. Rashley with a shot, that one off of Hernet. And all Kings right now, last two shifts. That just came out, Kings couldn't touch it. Bench doesn't agree. Lines was right on it. My first thought was that was offside. I did too. Lambert behind the goal. Hernet back to Lambert. He missed fires on the one timer. Great pass back door. Long shot in by Jaynes. Cleared away by Lynch. Rashley, boy, he's been out there a long time. Yeah, he has, actually. And they get another chance. That shot by Urquhart went wide. Mercer holds it in. They're all over impact here now. Rashley behind the goal again. Mercer with a shot. That's right on. Cumbie following up. Another save by Lynch. Boy. Great back-to-back -back shifts by the Western Kings. Best we've seen in two days, George. Yep. And now they're going right back out with the Decker Spingel pain line who just had a phenomenal shift on their own. Impact D are having trouble containing the big forwards of the Western Kings down low, especially on the cycle, George. And they go to work again. That comes through the side of the goal, bounces out in front, back at the point. That shot by Spingle went wide. Payne, Decker, and behind the goal. Canning, finally for the impact, moves it out. Here's Pardy, need to get him going. Pardy with a shot, that went off of Cumby. Sits him behind the goal. It goes up in the air. Kings get it. Urquhart, well that's Austin, didn't get it out. No, it was Erica. Had it right the first time. Never changed a good mind. I've never had a good mind. <laughs> Backhanded in. Cumby will go back to get it. It's under a minute and a half to go here in the second period. It has been a good one for the Kings. Impact trying to respond. Hughes with a shot. That was blocked up high. Rolling puck. Lynch has got to come out to play that. Hesitated a little bit. He did, and well, now we got a two-on-one. Hernet with Hughes. Hernet with shot. Scores! Great, great shot, George. He was able to use the the guy coming down on the left side as a bit of a decoy. Roberts never committed. Stayed right there, but just a great shot under the arm, in on the crossbar. But a turnover down low looked like the Kings were going to have a breakaway. We watch right here, and the defenseman plays as well, George. He takes it away, he goes down, underneath the arm and the inside of the post. We have ourselves a phenomenal game here this afternoon. He had Hughes on the left, he had Fowler as a trailer, took the shot himself, it was a good one and we are tied. And George, the previous four shifts in a row for the Western Kings, they just dominated it. It's one of those ones you get so many chances and yep. don't score, and then it comes back. Let's see what happens now with just under a minute to go. Long shot in, easy catch for Lynch, 52.7 left here in the second. And you talked about the goaltender for impact was a little hesitant coming out, George, and the forward who was pushing down on the D-man for it, Western Kings tried to actually push him into one and create a little bit of a confusion, which did. Then the puck got turned over and they were short coming back the other way. That's flipped ahead. Russell trying to get to it, Russell's got it. Russell fanned on it twice, third time put it wide. Wow, wow. gracious, but give him <laughs> full credit for hustling to beat that, beat his D-man and get that opportunity. We have 35 seconds to go in the period. Rashley, who's had himself a great second period for the Kings, leaves it in the corner. That shot is fanned on backhand, put over the top of the goal. I've seen everything by here Bugden. Today. This is a wild ball game. Unbelievable. Wiseman back to get it. Still 15 seconds to go in the period. 
Impact had a real Here's poor Rashley change. with a chance. His shot goes wide. Impact had a poor change, oh. George. Offsides. It is offside. Yeah, now they get it. a little bit late, but makes the call. 2.3 to go. George, Impact oh. had four people went to the bench at the same time. Now there was only 20 seconds left in the in the period at the time. Wiseman recognized it, gives it all the way up to his forward, who went in basically nobody near them. Most dangerous player for the Kings, Caleb Rashley. He's left all alone over on that right side. All right, we'll take a take a breather. That was wow. a crazy last couple of minutes to this period. All those chances by the Kings, the impact coming back and scoring, and then opportunities both ways. There's the score clock down at the end, 26-19. Shots on goal favoring the impact, but we are tied at two. Wow. As we go to break, I want to mention again some of the sponsors for the Traction Central Impact. ANW Construction, Mr. T's Ultramar, Biothic Mechanical Corporation, Scare Mechanical, Illich Supply Limited, or Incorporated, I should say, Seaview Trucking Limited, Provincial Home Care Central Limited, Black and McDonald Limited, Iron M Fisheries Limited, Walburn's Drugstore, and Parties Waste Management, Management and Industrial Services Limited. All right, two periods done, we're tied at two. We'll be back with period number three in just a few minutes. You're watching Newfoundland and Labrador, under 18, major hockey league action from the Windsor Stadium here in Grand Falls, Windsor. Central Impact hosting sent to the Western Kings. We are exclusive here on AO.Live. Back in a few minutes.
Just underway here in the third period. 2-2 tie between Central Impact and the Western Kings. War off the boards. Wiseman trying to hold it in. Buck comes off the boards. Harnett ahead for Ingram. Down into the corner. Lambert and Mercer go in there. Lambert poked it behind the goal and was knocked down by Mercer. War sends it back in for the impact. Here's James. He stopped at center by Locke. Locke bringing it down the left side. Locke. Looking to get it back to Price. Everybody piles in along the boards. Buck comes right to the goaltender, Roberts, and he'll cover it up. Faceoff will be in the Western Kings end. George, we ended the uh, second period with a lot, of, uh, a lot of action, a lot of excitement for everybody. And, of course, now having your 15, 20-minute break, coaches get back in, get their guys regrouped, and get ready for a great third period. Impact come up with it. Fowler takes a big hit as he plays it behind the net. Comby stepped up into him. Okay, back up into the play. Hughes tried to knock it down. Spingle will go get it. Spingle's got it. Spingle behind the goal, leaves it in the corner. Austin, Hughes was on him, comes up along the boards. Fowler tried to poke it out, kept in. Spingle gets it out in front as it came off the boards, and the puck comes out to center. That shot in. Hughes, the defenseman, dumps in. He's going to go into forecheck. Now he'll head back. Austin looking for Spingle. Lincoln Canning. Cross ice taken neatly by Lambert. Lambert going in against Wiseman. Canning in the corner. Urquhart comes away with the puck, clears it out to center. War has it. Lambert. Looking for Purdy. Purdy trying to get free. Purdy threw it in front. They wow. score! Canning! What a nice play by Purdy down low. Canning, who got eliminated earlier in the shift by a great check by Bugden down low, gets back up, goes to the net. Looked like it was a broken play, not much too. But if you watch Purdy here, George, behind the back, no look, and Lincoln Canning gets his stick out there. Beats goaltender short side. Blacker side and a big goal for this impact team with two and a half minutes guy here in the second, third period. Mention the impact need to find a way to get Grayson Party going, the lead's leading scorer. That's yeah. his first point this weekend, I but it's a big one. I don't know if he had a shot on Nate today, George, but what a great pass. I'm not sure we had one last night, to be honest, Robert. They True. really did a great job checking him. They have. Rashley had a great game for the Kings into the corner. James, he lost it. Out comes Lambert. He's got Purdy with him. Lambert stops up inside the blue line. Threw it on goal. Save made by Roberts. King following up on it. His shot is stopped by Roberts. King puts it behind the goal. Applin back there for the Kings. Over to Mercer. Shot in over the top of the goal. Rashley will pick it up here in the near boards. Kicks it behind the goal. Green is in there. Green steps out in front. Almost turned it over. Can't do that. Joey Green is high risk, high reward type of player. That's going to be icing, though. He will take chances. Yeah, you just can't. You, there's nothing wrong with taking a chance. I don't want a defenseman taking an opportunity, especially if you see something wide that you can rush the puck but you can't come up through the middle of the rink with two guys in front of you, one on each team. 
for the faceoff in the impact end. They win the faceoff. Here comes Fudge right up the middle, lifts it high in the air, bouncing puck. And Roberts had to be careful with that. Well, George, before that hit the ice, I was about to say this goaltender, we got to be aware because that's one of those ones. If the puck hits on his edge with a little spin, you don't know which way it's going to go. It's the old J.C. Tremblay shot. Okay. That's going way back, folks. Yeah. That's with the Montreal Canadiens? Yes, sir. He scored a few goals like that in his career, dumping it in from almost at center, making the puck bounce. Huh? Well, we're going back to the 60s with that one, Robert. Okay. Now my time. Wiseman, hand on it on the first clearing attempt, got it in there on the second. Price, off the boards. Austin, to hold it in, comes free to Peavy. Bucked up in the air and out by the impact. Ingram couldn't get away. Here's Harnett, Harnett in over the blue line, snapshot, went off the skate of Cumby. Spingle picks it up on the fire boards. Spingle turning against Harnett, takes it back behind his goal. Stops up there. Just over 15 minutes left to go in regulation time. Got a one goal game. George, be icing. George, I'm looking around and uh, I, I didn't look at my roster sheet, but usually Raleigh Cave plays on a line with Austin, but I don't see Raleigh Cave here in today's game. Have You're right, we haven't called his name. He played a lot in last night's game. Yeah, he did. And uh, usually him and Austin play together. They're both grade 10 students, but I. See, he's got a little di guy, different line combination. He played a lot last night with Austin. But he's not here. He's not just today. I don't, I don't see him down on the bench either. War knocks it down. Got to be careful there. Austin was watching him. And over to Fowler. Fowler had to put on the brakes to avoid a hit. War turning inside his own blue line, looking for Fowler. F excuse me, Fowler gets to it, dumps it in. Mercer and Locke go in there. Locke goes down. Puck comes free, impact have it. Fowler tried to make the pass, off the mark. That went off a skate of the Kings player, why there was no offside. One of the Kings players stopped playing, thought it was offside. Cool looked and said, how come? Played back in by the Kings. Yes. That's how come. That's exactly <laughs> why. So it's good to know the rules when you're out there as a player because I guarantee you, you stop playing and coaches will tell you, you played to the whistle. Green. Passed in behind Lambert. Didn't get a stick on it, that'll be icing. Lambert had some room over on that right side. This is a big strong line for the impact with Party here in the middle and Lambert and Canning. A little different combo than one that we've seen before. Again from the face off. Poor coverage and another yeah. scoring opportunity. You just can't do that, and that's that's going to really be costly. Both teams have been guilty of that in this game. We've seen earlier in the game, and I can remember, and it was down this end as well, and Coach Casey hauled him off immediately. It's not about winning the draw. It's about making sure you have good coverage. Green. That went off a stick. Applin. Applin's got to be careful. Does a good job. That's the Hail Mary pass, not a bad idea. Over for Lambert, Applin's back, gets it out. Urquhart had it, they will get it over to Wiseman. Wiseman, he's dumped in. Nice job by Lynch, the goaltender, to come out and play that away from the Kings player. That was a really good play. Green puts on the brakes. Lambert will shoot it in. That line's going to head off. Wiseman gets away from Purdy. Up 
through the middle. King got a stick on that. Party backhands it in, and he'll head to the bench to complete that line change. War hustling back into his own end. War moved it ahead. Here's King. King said some great scoring chances this game. Good shot there. Blocker save made. Or shot it in off the glass. It sits on the mesh. Don't think anybody touched that. Faceoff may come outside. Thing is, you're talking about Zach King, George, and uh, he's had some great chances. Number of games we've seen a year. He probably is not having as many as he's seen here today. But one of the things that's happening, he's gaining confidence with each and every shift. And you know, as a player, you have some confidence, and your coach has confidence in you, then you're going to play better. And we're seeing exactly the results of that. Seeing Harnett, Ingram, and Lambert now another different combo. Moving Party and Canning up every second shift here now, Coach Casey. There's Harnett. Pass picked off by Peavy. War following up on it. War. He's poke checked by Mercer. Nice job by Mercer there. Had some open ice. Hughes up through the middle, just tipped in by Harnett. Impact change up their defense. Vardy and Green come out. Here's Ingram with a chance. Put it over the top of the goal. Like the way he got himself loose and he was in a little bit of a tough spot. Here they come the again. Game. Oh, pass over for Ingram, just broken up. Vardy's got it. Kept in, Lambert in front. Roberts didn't see that rebound. It was sitting in front of his pads. Green kept it onside. Cumbie along the boards. War, or Vardy rather, couldn't hold it in. Impact will change. Payne getting to it. Down in the corner. Block took it away from him. Vardy, pass for Lambert. Lambert did a great job to knock that out of the air. It was about a foot ever. off the ice. And had a lot of zip on it too, was able to control it. Wide receiver, play. Green intercepted that. Green to Price. Go back to Green. Played in by Canning. Mercer back to get it. Leaves it in the corner, up along the boards. Gould. He's got both the goals for the Kings. Onside, that was close, a shot. Lynch made the save. Yeah, and I could look at the, the coaching staff. Impact are crying for that call. Lock is in there again, just over the top of the goal. Rebound is out there. George, I think Mer or Roberts rather made the save on that backhand by Fowler. He did, but what Whoa. happened, George, with the shot that went over the net initially, it hit the stanchion and came straight back out over the goaltender. And Fowler had another opportunity. Face-off win, that shot right on goal. This time a little easier save for Roberts. Still got over half a period to play. It's one goal game. James. War for Party. Just over center. Ducks under a check. Gets it down into the corner. Giveaway. Canning didn't get much on it. Puck was bouncing. Roberts made the save. Pass up the middle. Seldom a good thing. Doesn't work out very good very often. Canning lifts it up. That's going to hit the ceiling. He wanted to get off for a line change. 9.45 to go, regulation time. I think they're saying that a few seconds ran off the clock. Seven seconds, I believe. Should be back to 9.50. There we go. Right on. It is exactly what the clock shows right now. Right on top of that one, Robert. 
Well, it's good to look every now and again. <laughs> Most times, I, George, I, I happen to glance up at the clock when the whistle goes, and it's easy for a half ice official to I hit the button. James to Rashley. Puck was bouncing on him. There's Rashley, comes up with it. Rashley in the line to go and gets it right in front, just kept out by Lynch. Now it's kept on side. Mercer with a shot that got through. Lynch made the save. Mercer's got it again. His shot rattles around in front of Lynch and he'll cover it up. Great chances for the Western Kings. George, it was a result of the Western Kings winning, winning a board battle right below us here on the blue line, the impact. And they, their 2D were up too close to the blue line, George. They had to be back more. There was just no need for them to have two of them up there. And of course, Puck got turned over and the Western Kings had three glorious opportunities to score in that particular sequence. That yeah, was Caleb Rashley again, won that board battle. What a game he's had. Phenomenal. Caused all kinds of trouble for the impact. Peavy caught it, tried to make the pass across. It came out over the blue line, and back comes Fowler the other way. Off the boards, down in behind the goal. Lock in for checking against Applin. Fowler followed up, poked it loose, but Mercer has it now. To Austin. Give it back. To Peavy, that didn't work. Impact have it. Green gets rid of it. Austin tips it in. Vardy. Peavy turning at his own blue line. Knocked off his stick by Russell. Peavy has to go back. Up at the blue line. A good pass for Spingle. Fowler intercepted that. Got it to lock. To Green. Up ahead, Canning, Lincoln Canning shoots it in. Locke will pick it up over on the fireboards. For Fowler, Canning's got it. Canning turns, shoots right on goal. Save made by Roberts, and then it's cleared out to center. Under eight minutes to play. Impact were changing, and Kings tried to take advantage of it, but it's going to be icing. You got to realize, George, if you're the right D man, Joey. Green was on that particular time. He takes that slap shot in. One of the things that you want is either get it in around the corner, but if the goaltender is able to play it, which happened there at the end, you're the right deep. You have a long way to come to get to that bench. Both centermen are being waved out. Yeah, you don't see that often. Oh, it's gonna be Fudge against Austin. Hardy and Rashley were waved out. Price. Back inside his own blue line. Quick change here now with Western Kings. Party couldn't quite handle that pass. Cumbie, that's tipped in. Decker hustling in there. Moore gets there first. Moves it ahead. Come over to this side. Lincoln Canning, he'll dump it in and head to the bench. Gould. Out at the blue line. Doesn't get it out. Kept in by the impact. Fudge gets it behind the goal. King in looking for it. Gould chips it off the boards and the Kings bring it out. There's Payne. Payne working down the right side. Still up along the boards. It comes free. Here's Gould. Gould turns and shoots. Lynch with the save. Payne has it in the near corner. Threw it right out in front. Cleared away by the impact. Just kept in. Behind the goal, they throw it in front. Good defensive play by Pardy. Right into the slot, finally cleared out by the impact. Great chances for the Kings. Hard bodies. Impact got a full change in. Kings changing as well. Green doesn't get it out, kept in. Back at the point, Mercer. Here's Rashley, right in front, threw it through the crease. Nobody could get a stick on it. That's deflected, hit the outside of the net, and the impact say enough of that. They're gonna get a icing call. Down to exactly six minutes to go in regulation time. 
Gould was the man coming, cruising through the slot. George trying to get a stick on that puck as it was redirected coming across. You're going to look at Coach Casey call a timeout here now. He doesn't like the way the things have changed here in the last six minutes. Yep, and it is a timeout called by Brian Casey. Yeah, he, he sensed a couple of things, George, and uh, one of the things you're looking right now, you know, it's a one-goal game with six minutes left here. Exactly six minutes left in the third period. But the last three shifts in a row, Western Kings have really done a good job of getting the puck down low and beating the impact D to the puck and getting it out in front of the net. They had three good opportunities in that particular shift. Yeah, as we take a look at both benches, Western Kings and Mindigo, thinking about the experience of the head coaches of both these teams, oh. Mark Robinson, Brian Casey, these guys know what they're talking about. They certainly do. They've <laughs> been through the wars many, many, many times. And, of course, the assistant coaches on both teams as well. It's a big program, and it takes a lot of commitment from a lot of people. And you had alluded to the, the sponsors earlier, George, you know, to bring us this, this product. It's great. Kings win the faceoff. Wiseman with a shot. That hit traffic in front. Green's got it. Wiseman's had 10 shots here today from that particular position. Just a lot of bodies in front. Couldn't get it through. Green busting through, trying to knock it away from Wiseman. I'm not sure why he's down there, however. One goal game. Late. Well, like I said, he's high risk, high reward. <laughs> That's Joey Green. I'd have high blood pressure. <laughs> Inside the impact end, they get it up to Harnett, up a little bit further to Russell. Russell brings it in over the blue line. Wiseman stayed with him. Throws it around the other side. Urquhart waiting for it there. Need 35, 40 second shifts now, and that's plenty. Pack can't get it out. One try, two tries, it's still in. Kings come up with it, five minutes to go. Into the corner. Locke pokes it free and then it's cleared out. Wiseman still out there. Comes free, here's Russell. Russell Shades, scores! Wow. That's just a huge turnover, but a board battle, George. A board battle that was won by Impact in their own zone, resulted Puck coming in on the right hand side. Fowler makes a nice move over on the boards. And of course, the late guy coming in. That's I just was, a huge I was goal. thinking, you know, Wiseman been out there a long time. Yeah, he gets to the point. He got there, but. but Oh, well, happy birthday to somebody. That well, was Zach Russell with the goal. I don't know if it's Zach's birthday. Must be. Huge goal for the impact two goal lead now with under five to play board battles george i talked about it earlier and the impact won that battle battle down low fowler did a good job on the boards and of course zach russell johnny on the spot comes in mercer who looked like he was going to get the puck there's party right in front looking for canning that, that just failed to connect that went off two sets of skates they come the other way. Peavy into the middle. Still a lot of time left. Just over four minutes to go. Two goal game. And Casey's calling a 1-4 checker in the neutral zone only. When I played goal, I used to tell my teammates, guys just... Dump it in and then back check. <laughs> Everybody come back and help me out. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Decker with a shot. That was going wide, but Lynch will grab it. Hang on. 3.34 to go. Keep an eye down to our left, Robert. Yeah. And the well, goaltender, Roberts. You're going to look at inside of the three-minute mark, you know, somewhere around 2.45. I, I, I'd be shocked if not, particularly if you get a face-off down low. And, of course, Probably a timeout by Coach Robinson. Lock. This Wiseman was pinching in. Lock comes up with a sharp angle off the pads. Rebound came out in front. Fowler ah. turns, scores. That should do it, George. Fowler, who had a phenomenal night last night, and 
Jens, again, another loss of a puck right here. I can't help but think Western Kings are tired. They're demon and tired. They got muscle on this play. You watch right here. I really like the patience, and it looked like it was going to be here. Fowler just turns around, but George, there's nobody near him. You look at four guys turning around, red, difficult, beats the goaltender, high blocker side, and the Western Kings have played a great game. Just I think it's really ran out of gas. Yeah, it does kind of feel like that, doesn't it, in the last couple of I minutes. think so. Had some guys who were logging a lot of ice time. I don't know if you can remember, George, but back in the, fir the, the first part of the second period, I said, keep an eye on, on Wiseman and Mercer in the third period. They played a lot of ice time. You did. You mentioned that in the first. Uh, I, I did, and I really think that it, it's been one of those things right now. Sadly. Hanrahan. He's got Fudge all alone in front. Hanrahan couldn't quite catch up to it. King following up on another chance for Zach King. Under three to go. There's Rashley. He's done everything he can. Fancy little move. Threw it in front. Nice job. Nobody could get a stick on it, though. And Hanrahan back the other way. Hanrahan dumps it in, turns, heads to the bench, along with King. Harnett, Canning, and Ingram come out. New forward line. It's dumped in, and they're going to say icing against the Kings. 2.15 to go. Yeah, there was, there was no passing option there, George. There was two guys on one team and one red, and there's just too many bodies to go through. And, of course, a whistling of a shot for a pass is going to result in an icing almost all the time. But, yeah, George, I can't help but think that uh, a couple of these D-men for Western Kings are tired. And we see partner do here now, Mercer and Wiseman, for the last two and a half minutes, I would think. Canning hopped over his stick. Right on goal, Roberts swipes it away to the boards. That goes up and hits the ceiling. Coming into this weekend, Robert, I said, I just want it to go two games. <laughs> <laughs> the reason is right now, when this game is over, we're gonna pack up all our webcast gear, head over across town to the Joe Byrne, set it up there for the Cataracts game tonight. If this was going three, we'd have to break it down tonight after the Cataracts game, come out early tomorrow morning, set it up, and then break it down again after that game and head back to the Joe for the Cataracts game in the afternoon. Well, I gotta go home, pick up my son, get yeah. him to the rink. Well, now I can. We just we'll you move can, it over to the Joe, and I'll I, we'll you stay can there. You for can relax. You know, it's a, a much easier. <laughs> and I'm gonna go home, warm my feet as well. Oh yeah. They said last night, you're, you don't deal with the equipment or carrying stuff around. You're like Sinatra. Yeah, thank you. I just, right? you know. Show up and sing. That's a checking from behind call. Or a cross, cross check. check. Yeah, Andrew Ham was against, in the middle of the rink. And go against the Kings. Yeah, that's, that's a frustration one. Yeah. And you got to feel for the Western Kings. They put in a great, great effort here today. And I think, you know, just ran out a little bit of gas towards the end of the game. Yeah, they had a much better second half of the season. They got yeah. off to a rough start, as you mentioned, 0 and 11. Yeah. But very competitive in just about all their games after that. And I'm sure they had aspirations of coming in here and upsetting the, the impact and moving on to the semifinals. Well, you've got to think that way. They defeated the impact in the final regular season game, that season ending tournament over in Corner Brook. Couple Zach, of weeks ago. Zach King is hurt here, George. He got a sort of a charity horse. Mercer went over and fought, finished his check on him on the boards. Zach King is a big, strong kid and looked like he took his shoulder up against the boards. He's Yeah, he's pointing at his right shoulder as yeah. he comes to the bench. A minute 12 to go, so the impact now will move on to the semifinals. They will play the Pinnacle Growlers. Those games, I think they go 2-3-2. Two, and the uh, first two games will be in St. John's next weekend. And then back here in a couple of weeks time. And I think they have the Joe Burn for those games, Robert. Okay, that's nice. We'll be back in the Joe. Chance for the Kings, they score. Yeah. Maybe not dead yet. 50 seconds left. You can't stop playing. You just cannot stop playing. Catch the end of it here, just at the very end. 
just a little turnover inside of the blue line and you know doesn't seem to be a lot of a vigor here right now but I've seen stranger things happen you win a face off get in a quick goal here now and Johnny don't count your food too early 50 seconds <laughs> the what? That's Johnny don't count your food too early yeah, in other words okay. you, you can't go to the canteen yet ah count your, okay Right, you, I mean, fries, gravy, dressing, wieners, and, and I'm, you never heard that before, George. I, I can't Johnny, believe. don't count your food. <laughs> I confess I've never heard that. That's, that's, a, that's a Watsyism right there, yeah, folks. <laughs> but you were the first to hear it, everybody. <laughs> and I, I hope that we get some people on the webcast that are listening to that because they're going to say, I, I, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, I, I use that expression all the time. Oh. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. She trying to regain her composure here. Well, George, we were uh, treated to two good games. Absolutely. And, you know, as we already know, every at the end of every series, you know, you have the elation of the vic victorious team. And, of course, the other team it's, has lost. But the fans of Grand Falls, Windsor, surrounding community has been treated to some very good hockey this year for the under 18 and hats off to the Western Kings. They gotta be proud of what they've done and it bodes well for them for next year I would think. Yeah, they, they had a tough, as we said, tough start to the season but they came in here and they gave the impact all they could handle over the last two games. All right, so as the impact celebrate, there's the final score, 5-3. George, all these white towels going on the ice, I'm looking now. Okay. Gotta keep, you gotta keep your eyes open because it's easy to yeah. tread on one of them and not even know it's a towel. Yeah, fans came with white towels to the games this weekend. Now they're throwing them on the ice in celebration. Like the handshake after the games. Great. I'm sure two of the coaches on both teams are going to be very congratulatory to each other. We've been treated, you know, this was a really good game, game, George. I can remember in the second period, and you had talked about the excitement for about six or seven minutes in a row, back and forth, back and forth, mm -hmm. back and forth. And if you can remember, Coach Casey called a timeout earlier in the, in this period. And the thing is, if you look back, a couple of saves here or there, but really a late goal again for impact really bode well for them. Yeah, the, that was one of the things last night and again today, those late goals yeah. that the impact scored. As we, you know, we talk about sometimes it's not, you know, the goals to score for someone, when you score them, they yeah, become yeah. more valuable. And when the goaltender makes a save, you know, goaltenders have to make really ah, good saves, but when they make look, Steve, oh, Steve wow, is going to give go. us some face time. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and how about tonight, too? Don't count your food too early, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, this this is our, our perch. We're here just a yeah. few rows back, not up uh, real high. So as soon as the handshake's finished here, we are going to take everything apart, pack it all up, and head over to the Joe Byrne. Folks, we got another game for you tonight on AO.Live. We're going to have the Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts taking on the Deer Lake Red Wings, and that game is for first place in the Central West Senior Hockey League. So, yeah, that's a big game as well. Big game tonight. So, invite you to come back and join us for that one at 7:30 tonight. Lots of hockey in Grand Falls Windsor this weekend. Also, the under 15 and uh, uh, a lot of and, and a tournament in Gander as well. So, folks, and a tournament in Bishop Falls. And yeah. there's uh junior high girls basketball happening here in town as well well they asked me to see if, if i was available to referee some games i said, can't believe you can't do that a little bit busy this weekend <laughs> but yeah i would like to have done that anyway uh that's going to do it uh, for us uh, folks thanks so much for watching for for johnny back here who's not counting his food too early steve knows what he's on the camera on the other side my name is george scott folks have yourselves a great night uh, or great afternoon maybe we'll see you again tonight right so long we. We're out.